a simple little piece today. What I have here is a small two and a half by three and a half inch piece of watercolor paper, a size one brush, size one round and a size zero round, my mechanical pencil, my watercolors, and I need an eraser. Starting off with a little sketch here. And I am going to be doing today a little raven. A little miniature piece. Keeping my pencil lines fairly light. I am using a 0.3 mechanical pencil lead HB. I don't like to use anything too dark because it just tends to get dirty on your page once you start painting. And I'm keeping my lines and shading to a minimum. him a little bit more of a rough over here so he looks less like a crow and more like a raven. There's my basic little sketch. Now, before I start painting, what I like to do is I take my kneaded eraser and I roll it, squish it into this shape, and I just kind of roll it lightly over my drawing to pick up any excess graphite so that it doesn't interfere when I'm painting. And then just do this as well. You don't get any eraser dust with this. You get this kind of uniform lightening of your drawing instead of uh, having to be careful of you know, how hard you rub if you're using a standard eraser. Now, I take my size one brush and I am going to use lunar blue. Actually, before I even do that, before I get the lunar blue, what I'm gonna do is just wet down the whole of this little raven. Because I'm going to drop the paint into here wet on wet and let it spread and do a little bit of its separation thing. Because this is one of Daniel Smith pigments and lunar blue does this fantastic granulation and separation, but you need to let it move in order for that to happen. You can't be brushing it a lot and being really fussy with how it's, uh, where it's going. So once I have this wet down, then I take my lunar blue Just drop that in here. Now to get that separating, you need to have a pretty concentrated bit of the pigment going. You can't just have a super light wash. Also because you want to be able to get yourself down to the darkness, the intensity that you want with your first wash rather than having to layer too many times 
because you'll you'll obliterate any granulation separating if you do too much layering. And switching over to my smaller brush to get out to those longer feathers here. You see my brush strokes, I pull outward from the center. It's easier to get this nice long tapered edge then when you do that. As well as get the little feathery ends, the tips. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of, let's see, this is nickel titanite yellow a little bit, wet and wet there, I'm getting a strong reflection from his head, so let me move this a little, reposition, okay, just a little bit wet and wet here, letting it bloom out as well as some neutral tint at the head. Also just letting the wet and wet pull my pigment out from there. Okay, at this point I don't touch it, I just let things dry so that I have a maximum amount of granulating going on. And I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you can get a closer look at that and see because I, I know the reflection is making it a little bit hard. But that gives you an idea of how wet, how much liquid I have in order for the pigment to move around. So we're gonna step away from this now and let it dry. And I'll be right back once it is dried.